Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today, I'm gonna just mention something really quickly. Uh, again, on IMDb. Now, the reason I use IMDb as a, as a source I should say uh, right now is because the movie is just playing everything so close to the vest like when the reason why I wanted to do this show was because I thought maybe I could, it would take some real digging some real looking into things to pull out information and it has been for sure and it's it's hard to make even semi interesting videos or even not interesting videos <laughs> on this because there is so little information about this movie out there so that's why I wanted to bring in the comics and talk about the comics and talk about other things like video game stuff so hopefully you guys are okay with that until we get more official movie news it's just been really hard lately and they are definitely on a hiatus after that trailer because in my opinion I think Sony is just like hey look we we're rushing things let's not rush things like people are you know let's listen to that feedback People want us to wait until we have something to show them before we show it to them, so let's do that. And I think it's going to be a little while before we see any more official movie news, although hopefully they'll do some official announcements, talk about cast. Uh, that would be really great. I'm hoping they're coming up and they're going to go to WonderCon. I don't know for sure, but Sony usually goes to WonderCon uh, with the Resident Evil movies, and so I'm kind of hoping they go for Venom this year. So I did buy a one-day ticket. I will vlog my my trip there for you guys. Uh, we'll go there and look for like old you know, Venom issues or original Venom art or something like that to make a fun video out of. We'll make it the Venom Con, basically. Um, but for, for this episode, I do want to give a shout out to Planet Mars 2030, 2030. Planet Mars 2030 commented about a week ago uh, telling me like, hey, I'm sorry for the confusion. I want to confess something to you. I'm the one who changed some of the things on IMDb. And I know you may not believe me for this, uh, but Sailor LaRock was not actually meant to be listed as Donna Diego slash Scream. She was originally listed as Tater Tot Girl, and I changed it. And I don't know why Planet Mars changed it or what, what's going on there, uh, but I said, hey, you know what? I It's nothing personal. I, I don't believe you, but if you can prove it and just change it back, that would be great. And it looks like if you go to IMDb page right now, uh, Sarah LaRoque is now, or, uh, yes, she's listed, Sailor LaRoque is uh, now listed as Tater Tot Girl again. So I don't know if Planet Mars did change that back or who did, but it did change back this week. Um, so I do want to give a shout out and say thank you because your comment wasn't like you know it wasn't like a jerky comment that you left you were like hey I, I really am sorry for the confusion it looks like you're trying to make videos on this movie and something I did tampered with you know the information you're getting and that's one of the reasons why I don't hold what is on IMDb to heart and why I say tell people like hey look these things can be edited uh, so but it's still to me some kind of information it's something we can make a video on whether it's you know, solid or not. I would rather make videos on something that IMDb posted and gets wrong uh, than, let's say, like, uh, you know, people talking about Tom Holland again and how he's going to be on the set of the Venom movie. And the reason, like, the reason he's on the, the set is because he's doing a field trip. And I'm like, that, and that, things like that just show me how uncreative the internet is and how these dumb rumors get started. Like, Peter Parker did a field trip in Homecoming, and they're like, yeah, so in this movie, he's on a field trip to San Francisco, and and, and, uh, and then, you know, and that's because the next Spider-Man movie they're filming in, you know, Europe, because he goes on a European vacation kind of thing, and it's like, so that's the only thing Spider-Man does in the Marvel Universe now, he just goes on vacation, you know, he just goes on field trips for school. Like, I know schools do that, and he's part of, like, the Tony Stark program or whatever, and they probably get send their students all over the world and stuff, uh, but to me, I'm just like, it just seems boring. It seems like the same idea. It, there's like, oh, we're just going to see, like, that's his excuse for being on the Venom movie. He's on a field trip, and it's like, I don't know. I, I, I So I'd rather not make a video full on that. I'd rather make a video on things I see on IMDb, because at least... Um, even if someone does edit it, it's someone who has, you know, it, it's it's not there easily. It's not like a Wikipedia page. It takes a little bit more work uh, sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I just, but I want to say thanks to Planet Mars, and I want to say to you guys that I probably won't cover rumors and things like that I, unless I pull them from IMDb and it's just me speculating or it's just me thinking it's an interesting topic to talk about. So, uh, yeah, like the last video we made was Ann Wayne's stunt double, you know, Michelle Williams' stunt double. It's like that, you know, that gives me something. I feel like that is... Uh, closer to the truth than it might not be. And it may turn out to be a fake thing, but I doubt someone would list themselves on IMDb as Michelle Williams stunt double and they weren't actually Michelle Williams stunt double. So, uh, you know, I, I try to, you know, use my best judgment, you know, the best I can. But, you know, I'm not always going to be right either. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, you know, not all the inf information we get is going to be solid information. But I still thought that was nice of Planet to, uh, to comment about it. And if you did change it back, thank you for changing it back because now that reduces the level of confusion... 
uh, based around that character. So now there's just two people listed as Donna Diego, but it, to me it looks like that means if Michelle Williams is playing Donna Diego, she's the only one. And that's great, because I wanted that. I wanted her to play Scream, so that's cool. Um, and then we still got to figure out who Jenny Slate's playing, although they mentioned you know her name, possibly uh, Dora Skirth, I think. Um, we don't know if that's a real name or not, or just an alias. And we still don't know who Woody Harrelson's playing and how much he's in the movie. So we're just going to have to wait uh, till the next trailer comes out. And we're going to have to wait for the next bit of information. So uh, this video is pretty much just me saying, hey, look, there's no real news out there right now. Uh, but there's hopefully things coming up. Hopefully WonderCon will show us something. Uh, hopefully we'll get another official image. Uh, maybe we'll you know see what Venom looks like before Avengers comes out, or maybe they're waiting to release the next uh, the first official trailer for Venom because obviously we had the teaser, so maybe the first official trailer might be done by the, you know the time the Avengers movie comes out. To me, that makes the most sense. If you're gonna put it in front of a movie, put it in front of that one because Disney just pulled some sneaky move where they like locked their movie in for May 5th, so no other movie opened that weekend because they were like, or no big movie because they were like, oh, we're not going to mess with Avengers. Uh, we'll open the week after or the week after that. Uh, but then they moved it up a week. And so now they have all of May 5th where no one's going to compete with them already. And now they're coming out during the week before where there wasn't a lot of competition uh, either. So it's like, yeah, it was kind of a sneaky and dirty move. Uh, but I guess, you know, whatever. It's a, it's a legit move, I guess, because uh, they're doing it. Um, but I think it's a little sneaky and, and uh, just them trying to, you know, do what they're supposed to do, which is make money. So, uh, but I, hopefully the Venom trailer, if there is another one in the works uh, to come up, hopefully it'll be ready by that release date. Because I think putting it in front of that movie will be big because obviously a lot of people are, are going to go see it. Uh, so, yeah, that would be a smart move uh, in, my, in my opinion. And definitely I'm sure we're going to see Venom in it because I, don't, I think they're going to learn from their mistakes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just slow news week. I really apologize. Uh, but it's, I mean, obviously not my fault. But I, I want to try to make videos for you guys as often as I can. But it may get slow for a while. And I don't want to make five or six videos based on comic books in a row because that'll get boring too. So I'll try to do things like this where I at least talk to you guys and, and mention something or I do a toy review or I'll try to shake it up the best I can. But hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer. We're coming up. I noticed like in early January they did that convention in Brazil. Uh, I mean, in early December. They did that convention in Brazil, and then like a month later, they revealed that uh, video on YouTube and online. And then there was uh, the official image came out in like the beginning of January, and then there was the official trailer came out the beginning of February. So I'm hoping early on in March, you know, like hopefully this week, next week, we get something else official. And I'm hoping that they just stick to that. Like every four to five weeks, we get something official from them. Um, so I will keep my eyes out and you guys do too. And feel free to let me know if something pops up. I'm going to be in work mode with my books and a lot of other things uh, over the next few weeks. So I'm going to do my best to keep an eye on news as it pops up. But I stopped paying the Google ad thing. I just don't have enough money to do it. But I was paying some money to get alerts whenever Venom News was popping up. And now I just, I'm just saving my money. I got, I'm going to wait till it's closer to the movie before I do that again. So I may not see everything that pops up. So feel free to let me know. And if it's something you really, really want me to make a video on, I will try my best to do it. But if it's too rumory, I probably won't just to give you a heads up. Uh, but yeah. So those are what I got to say today. Thank you guys so much. This is a video about nothing. It's like a Seinfeld episode. But hopefully you guys just see where I'm coming from with a lot of things. And I was able to explain some things to you. And um uh, We'll have more stuff very soon. I know uh, there's a, another video I'm going to make about comics where I picked up... Where is it at, actually? I think I have it right here. I picked up the latest issue of um, Marvel Free Previews, and this actually has something about the Venom book that's coming out in May, and I think I might make a little short video on it because there's an interview in here with Donny Cates, the writer, and he gives out some information that I haven't seen anywhere else online. So it looks like an exclusive interview for this magazine. There's some interior art pages. I'm going to try to scan them and share them with you guys the best I can. Uh, hopefully I can get good scans of them. And then also I'm going to tell you the information he has in here, including the name of the first arc of the Venom story, which I'm very, it sounds pretty cool. And it sounds very horror based, which is also cool. So yeah, I'll do that probably in my next video, uh, unless something else pops up. But you guys, thank you so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.